And we see Elise entering the Olaf lane, so a Norma S. Cox should be aware of this, but he might just <laughs> yeah, go just solo. Solo <laughs> kill. Yeah, definitely diveable there. He was pretty low. A nice double binding. Yeah, uh, and a late black shield. Both ADs really low, but Bien will go ahead and uh, get the last auto that mattered most. Uh, no heal for Bien, and uh, Ezreal <laughs> did have heal, but on uh, Jarvan, she expects that he took Craig's recall. Now, where would he go after his recall? Probably his ground. So her just waving hi to him there. Looks like, so another, another. looks like another solo kill top lane by Lucent. Definitely has implications on the lane. We see a 2v2 scenario here. Oh, good good dodge by Yasuo, the cocoon. QE, EQ in by Jarvan, and we'll spam the polar bear emote, and both will go down from GG. Yeah, both of GG's members dropping it. Uh, as Yasuo was using minions to kind of disengage and get out of the 2v1, Jarvan does EQ in late. Um, and, and misses both. Jarvan unlocks Cataclysm. And a binding lands on Kate. Good binding. Saving the uh, Lux Q. And Ivan might be in trouble. Yeah, a kill down bot lane. Yeah, they uh, Morgana binding actually hits. Bien holds his cleanse. Yeah, and the Morgana used uh, Black Shield to dodge everything for the Ezreal. But again, we see a fight going down mid lane. Catechism used, but Jarvan will have to back or he's going to die. A great cocoon and a follow up by uh, Chang Yoon, and there will be another double kill. Chang Yoon and Mayamo Big D showing us their 2v2 in the mid is not something to mess around with. He's just dropping again in the 1v1. This time, oh, look at this, Elise. Found Jarvan in the jungle and gets a solo kill. Oh, Jesus, falling apart for goofy goobers right now. Already down 6,000 gold. Jarvan EQ's in. I don't know what he's thinking. Gets ulted by the Syndra and solo kill. What? Meanwhile, bot down bot lane. Morgana goes in. The arcane, uh, sh not arcane shift, the uh, Ezreal True R. Shopperage? True Chaparage will come through and kill off the Caitlyn. Thank you. Yeah, Zayner is with another kill on the Kate. So Bien going down again. Uh, this time using his sums and still going down. Really nice True Chaparage by Zayner. Mm -hmm. And if I'm the coach for Goofy Goobers, I'm saying, okay, everybody relax. Let's get our Ezreal these uh, items that he can maybe spike on and hopefully get us back into the game. But Yeah, uh, he's he's the oh only win condition right now, it looks like. Actually, no, sorry, 0-10. Yeah, as as, yeah, as so Olaf Ragnarok's in, and I think Norma S. Cock will go down again. Norma S. and just looking really Ivor rough. can't do anything. Look, he's in his jungle, and Elise is just taking everything. There may be a fight as Yasuo, the two mid laners are coming to fight. Elise flashes. Elise might be able to get out. Oh, a big scatter of the week coming down from the Syndra. And it looks like the Yasuo will go down in the end as well as the Elise. Ezreal Arcane shifts in and probably will take down this Syndra. But there is a TP coming in from the Olaf. Let's see what he can do. He will trade off a kill in the end. Yeah, so a two for two, but it uh, costed them Olaf TP, and we can maybe get another look at that, but uh, playing a bit greedy with Flash down, his Flash is actually seconds away from coming up, so had uh, that been up, he should have been able oh, to look escape at this. his life. There might be a kill. Oh. oh, and they get it in the end. A perfect binding and uh, trap by Caitlyn kills off the Yasuo. The wind wall was not enough, and they will pick up the first turret. It looks like the GG's bot lane is pushing up. They will get the kill on the Lux. And they're looking for the Caitlyn right now. May be able to take him down. Elise shows up to try to help out. Let's see what she can do. We'll get knocked up by the EQ combo by Jarvan. And looks like she is also going to go down. Zanary's actually out playing Miami right now. He's 5-1. and one. They keep on taking skirmishes that are... Oh, look at that damage by Syndra. Giving this Ezreal kills and free looks. We see Chang Yun on the pursuit. Yeah, 1v3. Not afraid of anyone right now. QE comes oh, in. Dead. 
This engine is just too big right now, seven and one. The scary part is that the kills are going on in the Ezreal champion that is capable of carrying the game. But I think Miami just... And it looks like uh, GG's... Oh, a big cataclysm and knock up. The Yasuo will are uh, taking down the Caitlyn first. Meanwhile, the Elise is taking the dragon and nobody else will go down for now. And we see Jarvis just coming not down tanky mid. enough to be stepping it up. Zero, seven, and four. And this, oh, oh, Olaf going in. Ragnaroks probably will get a, a kill on the Morgana. Looking for the Ezreal. Probably will not find him. He's probably too slippery. But they're looking to crack open this mid inhib already. Yeah, Dark Prince hits one button and is just immediately dead. Miami not wasting a single minute on this game. <clears throat> they got one item on their uh, champions and just said, let's walk it right down. Yep. This may be the fastest game we've seen so far this season. Yeah, 100%. I don't think we've seen a pre-20 victory uh, before now, but 17 minutes and the Nexus is uh, going to drop. Yeah. The death timers are low, but not low enough. They might be able to take it here. Oh, they're backing up. I said it's going to drop. I didn't say when does Goofy Goobers defend. Oh. They do have respawns. They have the fountain to run back to. I think this Olaf might be just too big. He can just, yeah, look. Just all and just kill anybody in his face. The Lux will go down in the back lane, but the game will end. Yeah, and just Miami with an absolutely dominant performance. But shout out to Xanaris here. He was 6-2-0 on the Ezreal. Um, he the only one on his team to break 100 farm. Tom is the champion that if you stand there and box him, he'll just win uh, mm -hmm. with his great health, his shield, and his lick damage. Even champions Look at this. like He's Shen going for a trade right now. here. He yeah. might be able to get a solo kill here. Yeah, you can't box yep. the He's Tom. Uh -huh. <gasps> no. Oh! oh! So close, so but Tom close. Kent's will get the solo kill in the end. I used to watch people play uh, Tom Kent's top all the time, and yeah. he just, he's, it's a, people don't expect his damage, and he just can no. solo anybody. I'm wise now in my years. When I see Tom top, I don't fight him. Yeah. Oh, there will be a fight, a big taunt and deadly flourish by the Jin. There will be a Shen, t um, Shen over the top and a kill onto the Blitzcrank. A big pickup by GG. Yeah, using Shen Ultimate to get a pickup here. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it is just the uh, support, but you'll take that any day of the week if you're GG's and lining up with three here to maybe get a demolish box, some plates. Oh, Chang, you might be going down too. I don't know why he's staying there. Easy dive. Pantheon yeah. showing up uh, to help. Blitzcrane's coming back. Oh, and here comes the, oh, a huge Shivana all and a. Dragon's Breath to take out two. A double kill for Jen. Yeah, so I think we're seeing now why Chang Yun was sticking around. He was holding out for his Pantheon to uh, ulti from mid to bot and also Ben there hitting six uh, with a pretty nice angle over the wall getting a three man ulti. True. Yeah, maybe their mark is going to be holding out for longer as we see. I don't know why Cleave is staying. He knew that. Ivern GG was here, but his jungle is also coming. He may go down. Pops the gray shield. Buys a lot of time, but will still go down. Meanwhile, bot lane, Chang Yoon will pick up a kill. And still topside, uh, Shivana will pick up a double kill. She's getting big now. Yeah, Miami, Miami actually winning out on both halves of the map. Not as powerful this game on Blitzcrank as he was on Olaf. Oh, look at this, game. Cleave. Possibly looking for a dragon fight. Yeah, eyes on Shivana here to get a ton of work done with her ulti up. A big fight's about to come off. It looks like the Shivana will not be able to all in the end of the at the end of the day, and will go down. Um, Pantheon is trying to do his best to kill everyone. Cleave will be able to pick up a kill on the Jin. It is a three for two, three for three so far. A three for three. Sorry, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Vi flashing forward to pick off Cleave. We'll get that, and it looks like Vi will be able to pick up this Blitzcrank in the end. A huge fight for GG, and they it looks like they're winning off a 5 for 4. Yeah, uh, Galio wasn't there to start it, so... Oh no, look at this! Oh! oh. 
Oh, oh Lucent with the, with the outplay. That was awesome. Two drakes to zero. I really like their effort here, but Bien with the setup. Sneaky setup. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh a big ultimate down by Callista, and they will be able to take down the bot lane of GG. Just two quick kills. Blew them up. Did not expect that Shivana to be in the bot side. Oh, it looks like a trade off in the mid lane. Ooh, Vi is here. Maybe taken down. B and will take him down, but will trade his life for it. Jin opening up the curtains, shooting off twice. But will nothing happen? Actually, now Galio may be going down. Callista with a lot of rends will take him down and is looking to fight. Oh, and a good hook and get the double kill for Callista. This Callista is now rolling. And GG cannot find anything on the other side of the map. Yeah, Chang Yun on Bork with Kalissa. Uh, Let's crank looking for a pull. We'll get the Vi. Oh, and the Vi may just go down right from the beginning of this fight. Oh, Lucent flashing it in to get the kill. The Galio all will come over the top and possibly pick up this Kalista. Oh, and Kalista dodges out. Great dodges. And Pantheon picks up the Galio in the backside. Jin goes in very confident with that Shen ult, but just goes down anyways. And it looks like Shen is just going to trade his life. And it's a clean ace, not a clean ace, but it's an ace for the Miami University. Yeah, the only unclean thing about that play was Lucent dropping, but it's because he um, took the Kalista R in flash to pick up a kill. And then, you know, he's fine. He's okay with dying. No, yeah. Right? And the Shivano caught down bot lane. This, see right will here. Will go down in the end. Oh, actually, maybe trade off in the gen. No, will go down. But this Echo may be the, um, may be the trade for it. Fight I'm brewing in the top side of the blue jungle. And Echo goes down. This this Kalista is just eating people. Yeah, Blink. so for Blitz, I... Uh, sorry, Vi also going down in that fight. It was 2v3, so... The Vi there needs to know that if my Shen ult was just used on a good play, I can't also look for something on the opposite side of the map or I might get punished. Yeah, and look, uh, Miami already just roamed straight to the bottom lane and taking down the Shen. Oh, they just, they're ruthless, not giving them any, not giving GG any room it to It might breathe. be right here. Watch the Blitz. Callista has R. Nope, the, the Blitz is just going to go in. They're, they're having a 4v3 right now, but it looks like... The Blitz may go down first. No, the Galley goes down first. But the Callista, they do take down the Callista. And the Echo goes down. Yeah, so not the combo we oh. were expecting. Yeah. Uh, Lucent, opting, Lucent and Chang Yun opting to use the R as an engage, uh, which looked like pretty free. Smush, sh shake my head. <laughs> well, they may be able to find out the Vi here in the jungle. I don't know what what Ivern is doing. Standing on a war just goes down to Chang Yun. And I think uh, Miami might just be pushing in for potentially an inhib here, inhib tower at least. Yeah, watch Kalissa here looking to style, but no wave. Uh, oh yeah. With that three items there at 20 minutes, she can smurf a fight if she avoids CC abilities. And you can see Chang Yun up there with uh, complete disregard of the four. Yeah, they're, they're in here. a four v two right now, just walking up to them, not even caring. Taunt and lands they're surviving. On Look at that. Huge taunt over Cheng Yun. Cheng Yun stays alive. We'll just be able to keep cutting through these members and only get the double kill. But still, just Chang, uh, this Callista is huge. Pantheon is also big. He, he's just eating people. Yeah, Cheng Yun with a really nice display of the footwork here. Look at this. Cheng Yun staying alive. Yeah, you're. That the red side is just gonna go try to take another in hit tower. Oh, good snipe out of the Jin. Lucian yes. will go down in the end. No, he survives. Yes, will go down. The uh, the death timers on the GG are just too short for Miami to finish, but they will be able to trade off some kills. Yeah, Bien kind of trying to smurf it there. Will get punished. Overall, this is a pretty nice siege for Miami, but we do see punish kills coming out from uh, Goofy Goober. I, I don't think Vi wins this. Yeah, I don't think Vi, yeah. Slap, oh. dead, and then right back to the inhib.
this this Tom Kench is just too, is very big right now. Yeah, so when you're defending your base like this, you need to use all of your champions at once on one of the points of pressure. Chang Yun and uh, Lucent just looking to take the mid in Hib. Yeah, so mid jungle top, bot lane mid, and cleave their top laner this game. I don't think lane. GG can do anything at this point. They're just they. It's GG. It's probably the GG goofy for goobers. GG. Sorry, huh? Probably GG. Yeah. <laughs> I think Man uh, uh, Miami University just has too much gold. They're just too far ahead. Oh, actually, they do take down the Callista in the end. Oh, and Pantheon going down. The defense is holding up, but we'll be taking. Oh, <clears throat> oh, and the Galio going down. Yeah, I think this. I think this might just be the end here. Yeah. Quadra kill for the Shivana. Yeah, quadra kill for Bien. Uh, it, it finally worked. He, we saw him jump into multiple members multiple times, but it looks like he just needed that Randuin's completion to stay alive long enough to DPS all the members from GG's, and it's GG for GG <sighs> with a flex, flex yeah. by Miami. Whew. That was a spicy one. Definitely spicy. I have a replay here.